Peter with New Hampshire Solar. This is a video uh, on bifacial solar panels. In particular today I'm going to be testing the effect of directly reflected radiation on the back side of the panel at various hours of the day. I'm coming down here on the hour and checking both the voltage and the amperage. Uh, my goal, my hope, is that uh, it'll prove that in the early and late hours of the day, the backside production on a bifacial solar panel is significant. And for customers in snow country, uh, this would logically be their choice for a fixed ground mount. It, it should make it much more productive. And again, especially at the peripheral hours of the day. This particular panel is an American-made prism solar panel. They're out of Highland, New York. This is their BI-60, and this model is um, rated at 295 watts on the front face and 375 watts with the front and back combined. So, uh, let me see. Next, I guess I should mention um, this is being shot on Sky Pond, which is almost dead center in New Hampshire in a town called New Hampton. Uh, as you can see, well, let me turn it this way and focus around. It's a beautiful spot. Summertime, uh, they stock it heavily with trout. It's fly fishing only and no motors. Always peaceful. Um, no snow, as you can tell. We've had some wild weather. It's March 6th right now. It started this morning in single digits. It's probably going to go up to 35, 40 degrees by afternoon. Um, but the snow was melted by some abnormally warm weather last month. I mean, last week, excuse me. The way this test is being conducted is I have a piece of cardboard that I mask off the front of the panel and I take those readings first. I've got a multimeter here, as you can see, and I'm reading both the voltage and also the amperage, the VOC and the ISC. Um, one other thing I should mention on these uh, prism bifacial solar panels, beautifully constructed, they are frameless. One of the things that that um, might allow is installing these in solariums, three season rooms, because they can be glazed in just like a normal piece of glass. If you wanted to make it four season, I'm sure you'd have to add another storm glass um, just to get the insulation factor. But let me get down here a little bit. The light comes, oops, got a little solar flare. The light comes through these things and they're really quite fascinating to look at from below. Uh, it also would let a lot of light into the room. Again, I'm hoping to put up a greenhouse at some point in my house and include these and then I can be growing my tomatoes and vegetables in November. So that's my video. I'm going to be um, collecting the results again hourly and compounding them on a graph. You'll be able to find them at my website which is www.nh.solar. Again, www.nh.solar. Thank you.